and welcome back to the Reapers. So we're in our AGS 37 Biggin again, which is great. I haven't been in here for a while. And we're going to look at ILS landing, or TILS as it's called in the Biggin, TILS. Um, so this is a system that will basically take us in for a landing from, well, more or less any range. It takes you from, an, uh, um, most ILS systems only work for up to kind of 10 miles or something like that from the runway. But this is a fully integrated system that takes us, I mean, we're going to be 60 or 70 kilometers out, out from the runway and it will take us in all the way into a final landing. Um, my understanding, you may need to correct me, style, is that it's not actually a permanent fixture at an airbase, but it's actually a temporary um, system set up at an airbase uh, that can uh, communicates with the aircraft and gives the guidance information. Would you agree with that? Yeah, it's mobile. It's basically like a little vehicle they can just put wherever. Like you know, the Viggen is designed to take off from uh, road runways and such in case the Russians invade them. And it's it's, <laughs> a, it's amazing tech as well. And we're talking sixties tech as well. To, to have to have that and um, it's pretty amazing um, now let's talk about what today's mission is so obviously um, we're going to land at Mosdok here we are standby we are 40 miles 60 kilometers out it's complete white out until 300 feet above uh, AGL so we can't land normally we need a we need to use our, our ILS, our tilt system, to do this. Basically, um, so we're going to we're going to unpause. We're going to show setting the tilt system up, which is pretty easy, um, and then following the tilt system. Now, following the tilt system, it it I would describe it as clunky. Um, it goes through several stages. I don't really know what those stages are called. What we're going to see is it go through three or four stages. Each stage, it will, the instrumentation will suddenly change and, um, and 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 set us on a new course. Basically, the rule is as long as you follow the instrumentation you'll be all right it will just get you down to the wrong runway on the right course on the right heading and everything just works okay um, the stages in principle aren't that complicated it's um it just turns you onto the runway first um without actually giving you any glide slope information or something it just li it just lines you up then as soon as as soon as you're nicely lined up uh it gives you the glide slope and gets you descending towards the runway and in the end it just gives you a third stage that is just final descent onto the runway. Roger, and what it's not going to do, it's not going to take us straight to the runway like that, because that would be pointless. Uh, it's going to take us onto a uh, runway radial, or the, the course of the runway, so it's going to take, it's going to intercept us with that line, and then take us in, in the next two stages, we think. Uh, it's actually even doing that on a slightly curved way, that's yeah. one of the little weird things about this system, yeah, but it still works that. perfectly. Roger. Right, uh, so we're going to look at setting it up and then we'll look at the symbology in the HUD. Uh, the instruments we'll be using is the HUD and the ADI or the artificial horizon here. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is set it up. So we're going to unpause in 3, 2, 1, unpause. Autopilot on. Love the autopilot on this. So first of all, we're going to choose our airport and we're going to press right shift K. And then we're going to sift through pages with right bracket and pause. What we've got here is our kneeboard pages with the airbases, and we've got the information for each airbase. Uh, so currently, Mosdok is where we're heading to. There is a Tills vehicle there set up, and it is Tills 17. It's going to be on runway bearing heading 262. Sorry, that is a bearing, isn't it? Um, and any information there and the code is nine one nine zero one seven. So with that information, let's come out of kneeboard with K. Let's start setting our, our computer up. So this here, the computer needs to go to Ref Lola. We need to go to In. We need to type in 9017. And we're going to accept with L mal down here, which is the airport button. Uh, so we've done that. Out. And back to Act Pause. We're next, we're going to set our Tills rotator up. And sorry if you can't see it very well. It's just uh, my head tracker's a bit bad. We're going to set it up so that it's reading 17. There, 17. And then, because we're using the tens rather than the single digits, we want that to up, which is tens, 11 to 20, rather than 1 to 10 on the rotator dial. Okay, that's that. Next, we're going to set the aircraft master mode to landing nav. And now we've got our information. I'm going to put my seat up because that's just how I like to, to um, keep this in the middle, seat up and seat down, and I'm going to pause. Right, so we're now set up and ready to go. Oh, sorry, we're not quite yet. We need to tell it to get onto the uh, 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 waypoint for the runway. So we're going to tell it El Mal there. You can see we get Lima Bravo 1 here, uh, which is basically telling us that it's now set up to go to the runway. So information that we're going to get. Um, we're going to get very simple information here from the ADI. We're going to get a, a localizer line, which is this line here. We want to keep that in the center, and that means we're on core. So as it sounds, we want to head left to centralize that. We've also got a glide slope line here. 
uh, and that works the same but vertically so if it was up here then we're too low if it's down here then we're too high we want to keep that in the center as well uh, there's some debate whether the glide slope is going to work properly out here at this range so we're going to do some experiment and try that next we're going to move to the hard so we've got uh, symbology here so first of all our heading dot there that is where we want to head and this um this path uh, indicator is where we're actually going at the moment so this circle essentially we want to put uh, as near as damn it in that um dot there at least in terms of steering left and right if not for up and down um speed indicator this here is our speed indi indicator here um the closer it is to the circle the more the the more on speed we are so uh, let me try that again so we're currently too fast we know that because this um this uh, line here is separated from the circle if it was just mounted perfectly on top of the circle we're on speed if it comes into the circle we're too slow okay um next we've got our altitude um that is altitude there i forget whether it's agl or asl we'll figure that out as we go it's one kilometer basically next we've got our pitch ladder um we've got five degrees up here and we would have 10 up there somewhere and minus five degrees down there next we've got our head heading ribbon so we've got 33 330 there 325 there and 320 there uh we've got our horizon line there and finally we've got our altitude indicator lines here now whether they're working at this range i'm not sure yet again we will discover uh, regards these these go up above the horizontal line and they go down below the horizontal line you know that they're in a correct position or you know you're at the correct altitude if they are just hanging off so the top of them meets the horizon line like that that is the same as the glide slope line here being central there's one thing that uh should be mentioned though maybe if you're actually taking off from a runway in a usual mission where you had where you have oh, yeah. your landing waypoint automatically set, you actually won't have to go through this entire tilt setup we did in advance. It's pretty much and just push your mole and go uh, landing nav mode. Understood. So if you're RT being to your base of where you took off from, then it's already set up for you, yeah? It should be, yes. Okay, so you only need to do this if you're going to a base where you didn't take off from. Okay, that's fine, understood. Uh, or spawn from I suppose is the correct thing um, I forgot our QFE down here we've got to tell the vegan uh, essentially what altitude the runway is that's the correct thing to say I think isn't it um, all the uh, pressure over the runway yeah over pressure over the runway so we've got to tell that here if we didn't tell it here it would actually take the whole system would be wrong it would be set up to the wrong altitude it crashes into the runway or send us above the runway now we know that that, that this particular runway uh, over there because we checked earlier is 90995 so we're going to just change that quickly put our mouse over here and scroll 0995 okay right uh, that's that set what i'm going to start doing is uh, doing the flying now so i'm going to use our dot here saying go left and our localizer on the adi is saying go left so we're going to go left regards altitude everything says that we're correct the glide slope on the adi is saying we're correct and the glide slope lines the altitude lines on the hud are saying we're correct so we're just going to go ahead left and that's going to take us onto a curving um uh, intercept onto the runway course radial we've had a, a, a switch there it's changed mode i'm not sure exactly what it's done but like i said it's, it's a little clunky just follow it so um i'm just going to blindly follow it now i've got no um oh right right okay so it's updated to step onto the next stage what we notice is that these lines are well below now um this uh horizontal line and the glide slope lines way down there basically according to this next stage we're way too high so we've got to start heading down now into the soup to meet this glide slope at which point also these vertical lines will hang off the horizontal line okay and we can always see our altitude is nine uh, you know you can see it up there just oh no wonder i had my autopilot on stupid man Right, I'm going to have to dive quite steeply now because um, I've just wasted a lot of time sorting out that autopilot problem. Now, one thing we're going to see is it's almost going to be possible to see these HUD signs through this thick white um, fog. So um, we're going to be using the ADI. Whoops. You see, I've just gone right past the uh, glide slope there. Okay, I've just about got it there. And you can see on the HUD, if you can see that, okay, the vertical lines are just about dangly off. In fact, we've gone too low now, so let's head back up. Sorry, I can't talk and fly at the same time. It's very difficult okay we're gonna get our glow slope back there we've got it just uh having a bit of fluctuation with the height we're a bit of a fight at the moment but we're okay okay 
We are now on glide slope line. Look at our ADI. We're pretty much on that glide slope line. And um, our hard agrees too. So they're going to follow this till the next stage, basically. All the same symbology is uh, is the same as it was before. If I zoom in on the hard, it's probably going to make it a little bit easier. Regards speed, I'm not going to worry too much about speed. You can see the speed is pretty good at the moment. Uh, as we spoke earlier, it's it's, uh, it's going a little bit too slow now. It's poking into that circle. Uh, now we've had change onto the next stage. It's now leading us right. Look, um, we've got to, we're just going to steer towards this dot. Speed is good, you can see. Altitude is good. Those lines are hanging right off that, uh, that horizontal line. It's uh, probably doing a last minute correction to get us onto the um, uh, onto the uh, radial course or something. I'm not really sure. Just trust it, basically. And I hope it does the right thing. We're at 500 meters. Altitude's good. Wow, Stahl, this thing has taken me northeast. Have I gone off the tills or something? It's now taking me oh. east. It's now taking me around in a full circle. That will do. Don't just, just go along. Well, let's just trust it. Uh, for some reason, it's taking us around. In, I think... I'm just going to pause it and see where we are out of interest. Oh, God, it's taking me... Uh, for some reason, I've managed to go completely north and cock things up. Stahl's done it perfectly. I was busy talking, and it looks like it's messed things up. But let's just go with it and see if it can correct us uh, out of interest. Speed's too fast. It doesn't really matter at the moment. Okay, we're turning west again. What I meant to say earlier, by the way, it's actually tilts because it's tactical ILS. Right. Very tactical. Right. Yeah, it can be placed anywhere. That's the point. It's taking me towards 225 now. I'm on the glide slope. Okay. It's got, them back, it's got us back on course now, I think. Let's turn right. Okay, we're back on. So I'm just going to pause it there. Um, it's quite interesting um, doing these tutorials and leaving the parts in where, where it kind of went wrong. So, so what happened was I came in and approached from an angle roughly like this. I intercepted the radial for the uh, for the runway there, but for whatever reason I just missed it. I was busy chatting. I didn't turn in time when it when it when it asked to something like that. And so it cancelled the tills basically and led me around in a big go around like this. And I've been for the last minute or two minutes been going around in a circle and I followed it and it's picked me up and put me back on that radial. Um, so Tills has been on all this time and now it's hopefully going to take me in. So um, that's just how it is. Let's go. I also wonder if it had anything to do with the fact that there was another Vigan on the approach. Mm, don't what, think what? it should. Okay, yeah. It's not, it's not right, so let's just carry on then. Uh, everything else is as normal. We want to keep on the localizer. Uh, and we want to keep on that glide slope, so let's just get that glide slope perfect. There we go. Whoopsie. Speed is too fast, apparently, but I'm not going to listen to it. I'm going to do my own speed, otherwise this will take forever. I've gone too high. A little bit wobbly. Let's just arrest that a little bit. Okay, relatively happy. It wants us to the left a little. Distance. I should be. Um, I should have been speaking about distance. I forgot about distance. Uh, we've got it in here. Um, if it says kilometers, then it's in kilometers. If it says mil, then it's in Swedish miles, where each unit is ten kilometers. So we're currently in kilometers, and we're currently twenty-five kilometers from the airbase, and that will count down all the way to zero, basically. Okay. Okay, so we better start slowing down a little bit because we are a little bit fast. If you look at our um, artificial horizon, you can see we're bang on the glide slope and the localizer. And we're off again. So our waypoint selector is now Lima Foxtrot 1. Uh, that's a different phase, if you like, a different phase of the Tills landing. 
Uh, otherwise, symbology is all the same, nothing really to talk about. A distance now, uh, 17 kilometers. And we're bang on the glide slope, and every time I say that, I, ah, right, here's an interesting thing. So we've got um, a ranging bar. This is a standard Vig and HUD ranging bar used for guns and all, all sorts of stuff. Um, we're in the center. Ma the uh, range of interest is these two bars here. This vertical, this horizontal bar will move in, and when it reaches this bar and this bar, then you're in range. And what that is doing is a countdown to the next phase, basically. What you'll see is we'll get to those outer markers, and then we'll move on to the next phase of till. So I'm going to unpause. You see the bar coming down very slowly. 15 clicks. I don't know when it changes, maybe 10 clicks. Uh, I can't remember. I think probably 10 clicks. And we'll be changing to the last phase, which is the full ILS phase, basically. And we'll get some change. Uh, it will put us on a different course and stuff like that. Yeah, it looks like it's going to change at 10 kilometers. Slightly below the glow, glow slope. Let's just add a bit of trim. Speed's okay. I know it's, oh, it says we're a little bit slow, so power on. Not too much. We're on the glow slope. Right. And um, without me noticing, we passed 10 miles. Uh, we got within... Uh, we got within the range of, of uh, the, the range bar that I was talking about, and it switched. We've got uh, slightly modified symbology here for the last phase. Um, uh, same information, 500 meters altitude, you got your bearing there, and it's moved slightly lower down. I think that's because we're going to be at a higher angle of attack. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to... This is supposed to lower your head glass now. No, Roger, you're supposed to lower your HUD glass at this point for the landing. I have a slightly different technique. I put my seat up. Uh, it's just because I've got a weird track IR. I have to do that anyway, so... I'm just used to doing it, so seat up for me. Uh, I've just gone off glide slope, so I'm looking at my artificial horizon on the left, just trying to get that back, as well as the azimuth information, as well as the localizer. Okay, we're on the money there. Speed, too fast. Bring that down. Range, five clicks, so we're getting mighty close now. It's not gonna be long before we start to see our base. We're at 270 meters. Okay, we're on the glide slope now. Looking good. Gonna go gear out very shortly. We're gonna cut through the cloud shortly. Bang on glide slope. On speed, gear coming up. We are two kilometers. We're gonna see that runway any second. And there it is. You see it's brought us perfectly down. Now one thing to note is it's not gonna lead us to the runway, it's gonna lead us to the Tills vehicle. And it's gonna be one of those, it's gonna be the Tills vehicle basically, probably that one there. Um, so it's ever so slightly off the runway, but you know, uh, as near as damn it, it's gonna it's gonna get us there. Uh, so now we switched uh, just a visual landing and just going like normal. Did I put my gear down? Yes, I did. And that's us down. Right, so that was our tilde landing. We showed you go through the various phases, and interestingly, we showed you it uh, do it basically doing a, a go around. Uh, we're not sure why it did it. It was probably my fault. Um, interestingly, I was just wondering because if there was a vegan in front of me, Charles, I wonder if it's because there was a vegan in front of me that it sent me around. But if you remember, it sent me right around in a big loop there, and then re-engaged me back on to the radio. So that's interesting. I don't know the reason for that. But either way, it worked, it led us here, and it landed us perfectly in un in unlandable conditions. Anything you want to add to that, Stahl? Uh, negative. Good. I hope that helps, and we'll see you later.